all right that is my daily lovers we are back with more of cora obedi and justin dean's saga well the saga continues because justin dean is spilling and we are here to talk about it okay the story time just started we are already in part four of justin dean's uh, story time so anyways i just want to update you guys here but if you want to hear the story time then you have to subscribe turn on notification so you can join our live stream and hear the full gist okay and i also told you guys that we will be following this corobidis attack and the investigation update and everything you get on this channel so please don't forget to subscribe to the notification let's do this okay so justin dean said he is going to do his own tell all after all corobidi wrote a book telling her own part of the story that he didn't even want to talk about anything because he wanted them to co-parent peacefully these were justin dean's words okay he wanted them to co-parent peacefully but the way things are going koro Bidi has these 90 blogs that are from nigeria and these people just want to drag this white man okay <laughs> all of what you hear is his words okay not my words Justin Dean's word. All right, so Justin Dean has been posting back to back, back to back write ups. Just name it. Anything you can think of, Justin is posting on his Facebook. Fast forward, Justin Dean just posted something recently. Justin Dean posted a write up where he said that the Koreans, that's Cora fans, because she calls them the Koreans, right? So she said, Cora's, uh, he said, Cora's fans are out there reporting his videos god like i told you in the intro he has already done part one to part four and in his own words justin dean said this might be a 20 part series that he doesn't know when it will stop but if he receives an apology then he will actually stop talking so when he was doing the part three i think he said or the part four of his video he said well we've not received i've not received any apologies so the the conversation goes on and he continued to tell more stories and from that part four he said from here on it is going down because it's getting deeper hotter and more juicy do you understand so from part five and upward just know that Justin is going to be giving basketballs. He's been throwing some some shade in already in the path uh, three and four already. Mostly in this part four that he released a few hours ago. Uh, it was about 16 hours ago, uh, I think so. But hmm, Justin then feels like Cora Obidi's fans are really scared. Like they are panicking. They are so frightened that he is going to tell the truth so that's what he posted to his facebook that coral Bidi's fans are so frightened that he is going to tell the truth that they have already started reporting his videos from right left center and whatnot so i just wanted us to come on in here and just talk a little bit about this do you really think that coral Bidi's fans are scared of what justin dean will say because why am i asking this question i'm asking this question because justin dean was actually the one that brought the very very first news that anybody in the internet knew that Coral Biddy's marriage was in trouble. The husband, Justin Dean, the ex-husband, he's now an ex, but then he was her he, he was her husband then, okay, and he came out blasting his wife online. So I don't understand why Justin would think that what he has to say now is going to actually carry weight more than what he did in the beginning and what he has been doing. I feel like at this point, just looking at the way things are going from the camp of Cora to the camp of Justin, I feel like at this point, Cora already knows what to expect. I don't really see her talking about him or getting involved in anything that concerns Justin Dean. But when you look at Justin Dean, Mm -mm, that's not what's happening. Justin Dean keeps talking about Cora, keeps insacting himself in everything that has to do with Cora Bidi. She bought a house. She rented a house. It was too small. She bought a house. Uh, he had a lot. It wasn't a mansion because people were just hailing her and trying to hype hype her. And he that didn't sit well with him. He came with all the measurement of what how many square meters you need before a home can be classified as a mansion or as a this, as a that. He just had a whole lot so i feel like every 
single move Koro Bidi makes, Justin has something to say. So what I want you guys to comment in the comment section, do you think Koro Bidi's fans are afraid of the tea? Because Justin said he has a lot of tea that he's going to be dropping from voice notes and write-ups. Let's 